Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about off-the-record messaging. And what off-the-record messaging does is it encrypts your instant messages that you send between you and your friends and colleagues. And you can use instant messaging systems that you already use, like Google and Facebook, but encrypt those messages. So what this means is that if you were talking to somebody on Facebook via Facebook Messenger, and you had something private that you wanted to discuss with them that you didn't want Facebook or the government knowing, you can use OTR to encrypt that, and then Facebook slash the government can't read it. Um, so here's an example. So I use this with my wife, um, and when we go to her Facebook page and we start up a conversation with me, you can see what Facebook sees. All that Facebook sees is that we've sent encrypted messages. It's all garbly gook. It doesn't mean anything. Um, so this is a really cool way to use the instant messaging services that you already use, but make sure that only you and the other person that you're talking to can view those messages. Um, all of the encryption is done on the client side. Uh, there's no server side encryption. So what this means is that Google or Facebook cannot decrypt your messages, even if they wanted to. Um, so it's a really cool, easy um, to use uh, system. And I'm going to show you how to install it on Windows. Uh, now, obviously, if you are concerned about privacy and security, I recommend don't use Windows. Use a free open source operating system like Linux. Um, I also have another video which demonstrates how to do this exact same thing, but on Linux instead. Um, but I know 99% of you are Windows users, so I'm borrowing my wife's computer today, and I'm going to show you how to do it on Windows instead. So the first thing we do is, before we even install off-the-record messaging, we need a... Um, instant messaging client um, and we're going to use Pigeon for that. Pigeon is a free instant messaging client you install on your computer and then you can hook up Facebook and Google and uh, IRC and AIM and a whole bunch of different services too um, and you can install this on Windows Linux and I think you can even install it on um, Macintosh as well. I'm not 100% certain about that um, since I don't use a Mac but uh, to download Pigeon go to pidgin.im so that's Pigeon .im, and then you click download to save on time I've already downloaded it once you've downloaded it go ahead and install it and you can just leave the defaults as is it doesn't install any toolbars or anything like that um, it's also going to pull in some extra packages from the web so you have to give it a few minutes to download everything um, and it depends on how fast your uh, internet connection speed is um, as how long this will take and how fast your computer is. This is kind of going slow. I'm going to blame that on the fact that it's Windows 8 that I hate, but you know, to each his own. No judging. <laughs> also an interesting side note, Edward Snowden actually used um, OTR when he was talking with Glenn Greenwald, the reporter who broke the whole Edward Snowden story. Um, so that gives me you know, hope that you know that this hasn't been cracked by the NSA yet that hopefully this is an NSA proof way to uh, chat now obviously if uh, your computer has spyware or something on it they could read your messages once they actually reach your computer um, but during transit everything's encrypted and um, it appears that it's hasn't been broken by the NSA yet so uh, yeah alright so now that it's installed we're gonna go ahead and start it up And since this is the first time running it on this computer, um, there's no accounts, so I'm going to add an account. And I'm going to add my wife's Facebook account to this. So I'm going to go back to her Facebook because right now it's asking me for the username here. But your username is not always necessarily what your real name is. So let's go to my wife's Facebook page. And you can see her real name is Candace Sykes. But that's not her username for um, Facebook. Her username is actually what follows the facebook.com slash then that's your username so in her case it's canda.bear so that's what you need to put into pigeon so I'm gonna go back to pigeon and oops I'm going to put in her username and her password And I'm going to hit remember password, that way she doesn't have to ever enter it again. And now it's going to pull in all of her Facebook contacts from Facebook Messenger. And now Pigeon is up and running. And now she can chat with anybody on Facebook uh, that she wants to. But 
those messages are not encrypted yet. So the next thing we have to do is install off the record. So we're going to go back to the off the record website, which is HTTPS colon slash slash OTR dot cypherpunks.ca. Or you can Google off the record uh, pigeon plugin and it'll probably be like the first or second uh, results in Google. It'll definitely be on the first page. Just look for a page like this. And then in the center of the page, there's a Win32 installer for Pigeon. Um, this will also work on 64-bit, so if you have a 64-bit processor, don't work. Uh, don't worry, this will also work as well. So we're going to go ahead and download that. I've already done that again to save on time. And we're going to install that. And again, you can just leave all the defaults, and this will just take a second. And now it's installed. And it's going to pop up with a little Word document telling you about OTR. Um, which is right here. You can read through this. This actually has some pretty interesting information. Um, I don't think I've ever bothered to read the entire thing since it's pretty long, but it's worth a, a glance over. And now we're going to go back to Pigeon. And I'm going to make this full screen so it's easier to see. We're going to go to Tools. And then plugins, because even though OTR is now installed, it hasn't been enabled yet. And then we're going to go down to off the record messaging. And then you can see that under this enabled list that it's not enabled yet. So we're going to hit the checkbox there, and now it's enabled. But we need to configure the plugin. And I've actually installed this before, I just uninstalled it. Um, typically, you don't have a fingerprint yet, you don't have an uh, encryption key. I do since I've installed it before on this computer, um, but typically you would hit the generate button and it takes a couple of minutes to generate your private key. Um, and I've blurred out my fingerprint for security reasons since I don't want you guys to be able to see it. Um, but uh, it will take a couple of minutes to generate your key. It may not look like it's doing anything. Don't freak out. Just give it you know three to five minutes depending on how fast your system is let it do its thing, it'll generate, and then you just hit close and close again, and it's all done. And now I'm going to talk with Conrad. So I'm going to double click on Conrad, and you can see when I start this original uh, message that it's not, it's not private, meaning that nothing that I would send Conrad right now is encrypted. But since we, uh, since you can see down the bottom right hand corner it says not private, but since we want an encrypted message, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on it and we're going to hit start private conversation. And then this is going to just take a minute to establish the encryption tunnel. Okay, and now you see that not private, that transformed into unverified. And what unverified means is that you are now using encryption. So Facebook or Google, whatever, they can't see what messages you're sending back and forth. But if, let's say, Conrad's computer got stolen, and since I'm messaging this, can't, I'm sorry, I'm talking about myself in the third person, kind of weird, but if, if Conrad's computer got stolen and somehow somebody was able to log on to the computer and was chatting back and forth, um, even though it would be encrypted, you don't know for 100% certain that you're talking to the person you think you're talking to. So what you can do with off, off the record is you can set up a security question with the other person that you want to talk to that only that person would know. So you can verify their identity. So um, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to uh, authenticate Buddy. I'm going to I'm going to ask Conrad a question that only Conrad would know, and um, a hacker or somebody else wouldn't know. So this is obviously a terrible question I'm going to ask right now. But what is your favorite TV show and I am a huge Stargate fan which you could find out from my Facebook page which is why you would never ever want to use this as a security question obviously ask something that would be more secure uh, but then I'm gonna put Stargate as the answer and I'm going to ask Conrad and now on his end he's being asked that question and if he answers correctly then it authenticates that he is who he says he is and if he answers wrong then it will notify me, hey, watch out, you're not talking to the person you think you're talking to. So I'm going to grab my other computer because it's asking me right now. And I'm sorry you guys can't actually see this because I'm using a separate computer to answer 
to write back, but I'm going to put the correct answer, which is Stargate, and hit Authenticate. And now it's sending a reply. And now you can see that it says authentication successful. And now that unverified has turned green and it's private. And so now everything we're typing is both been authenticated. I know I'm talking to the person I think I'm talking to and it's encrypted. So I'm going to say, hello, Conrad. And from my other computer, I'm going to write back. I'm going to say, hi, Kanda. And again, if we go to Facebook, these messages that we just sent, they're all encrypted and Facebook can't decrypt them. So that's pretty much it. Um, a couple things to note is there is a page on the Cypherpunks website that explains the difference between not private, private, unverified, and finally finished. When you're done with a private conversation, you can do finished and go back to an unprivate conversation. Um, so this web page is worth checking out as well. Just Google Cypherpunks, or no, sorry, just Google um, OTR and unverified, and it will, again, it will be one of like the first few links, and you'll find this web page. This web page is definitely worth looking over. Uh, it just explains the different levels and what they mean. And so that pretty much covers it. The only th things you need to remember are that to use off the record, um, both people, you and the other person you're talking to, need to have it installed on your computers for it to work. You can use Pigeon to talk to people without encryption, but if you want it to be encrypted, both of you have to have off the record installed. Um, it's great, it's free, it works on Windows, Linux. I highly recommend it. Um, so yeah. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask um, ask in the comments down below. Uh, or if you're using Linux, check out my Linux video. And I hope I uh, answered a lot of your questions, and I hope this helps. All right. Talk to you later.